Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Got a Change. Today, we're going to be talking about a young lady. Okay, I'm going to say this: if you want to see the uh, uncensored version of this video, you'll need to go over to Rumble. This will be a little bit more censored, but I'm still going to give you all the same energy, baby. Okay, so I'm going to say the first part. If you want to see the part, you can just go over to Rumble and watch that version. Okay, let me go ahead and start this. So, what this woman does here? Okay, this woman ends up saying, uh, "You know what? This guy's trying to preach to her. He's saying, hey, hey." I hope you're doing okay. I hope you know that God loves you. And she goes to say that she is pro-choice, for lack of better words. And then she said that they did something very heinous um, to um, get the child with, out of her. Okay. And so that leads us to this point. Happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. And what else? Hmm. What's your name? That's none of your business. I, I mean, we're being cordial here. You, you hear? Yeah, got my mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah, we're being cordial. We're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I mean, nice to meet you. Is that you just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll pray for you. Okay. We'll pray the Lord save you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Um, whatever, I wish I knew your name so we can know where to pray. Right. Well, either either way. Either way, mm -hmm. you're a soul. Either way, and you're a soul. You're kind of an asshole. What, what, what makes me that? You kind of ruined everybody's lunch. You're like, oh, oh sorry. you took the cord out? Yeah, I took the cord out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike, mic back. Okay. Please, please give me my mic back, please. Is this is where it gets the same. He tries to get it back from her, right? Sorry, the mic's in the way. We're going to have all this fixed. Don't worry about it. Hey, by the way, speaking of fix, fix your eyes down on that subscribe button and go ahead and click it and like it if you want to. Getting back to what I was saying, I want to say this. This lady won't let go of his mic. Now, she said, I'm a professor. I'm making more money than you and doing all this other kind of stuff. She said something so vulgar at the beginning. And you're just like, what's going on? Like, what is the problem? And then she goes and grabs the man's mic. And what happens next is wild because it's like... What I, like I'm really trying to figure out, guys, that I'm I'm not trying to say some people are mentally ill, but part of me is like, what is going on? Like, what would possess a person to want to do this? Because I just don't know a whole lot of people who feel like they're so entitled, they feel like they have so much control that they can just do whatever they want, and people are just supposed to bow down just because of what? For what reason? Like, what makes you such a main character that you think you can just talk to people any kind of way? Man, thank you, thank you. Have a have a good day. Okay, you're not stronger than me. All right. God bless you. God bless God. you. Hey, hey, hey officer. This young lady, she's trying oh, to rip I'm my stuff up. Oh, I'm assaulting her. She's, she's assaulting. She's taking his stuff. Assault, Come here. I'm assaulting her. I have it on video. Yeah. I'm assaulting her. Yes. Why, you're, you're very angry I'm about your abortion. Him? Yeah. And you're Let go myself. Okay. Come if on. I get arrested right now, I would literally laugh at that. Like that. Hi. No, it's not. Okay. You should probably let him have this stuff. Are you going to ask me? Would you please let him have this stuff? Can I? Can I? From this point here, like I said, you can see the whole video on Rumble. Uh, but nonetheless, from here she goes ahead and she gets taken away by the police because she won't let go of the man's mic. I'll tell you, you know I'm about to get fiery. There is one thing y'all know I hate. Well, there's a few things I hate. But I, one of the biggest things I hate is when people treat other people like they're an NPC. Okay? I always use that word, NPC. Okay? I hate people who... And let me just say this for non-gamers so I can, I can quit saying that. For people who treat people like they don't matter, like they're the, own, they're the center of the world, you know? It's just like, this is how, and this is why I always think it's important. And I, I think some people say this. I'm not saying you have to do this, but I think it's important. At some point in your life, even if you got money, you're making thousands and thousands of doing stuff. And if you can go work somewhere without people recognizing you, because I know some people are, some of you guys are YouTube famous or you can't go nowhere. That's very rare. But let's say... Uh, you can go work a customer service job even if it's just for six months go work at your local burger king go work at your local retail store go work somewhere where you have to deal with people all day and i want it because it will teach you how not to treat people like this because the problem is when you are successful she, maybe she's a very bright lady and she came right out of high school 4.0 went right to college 4.0 came out masters best student top of her class now she's a professor making more money than anybody could dream of right she never learned how to treat people because she's always been at the top, you know, in her life. And so you see how she talks to this man like he's a nobody. Guys, I just don't understand why everybody wants to be a martyr. You know what's so funny to me? You know what I find so funny? Okay. People who want to be martyrs, when they think about martyr today, they think about, oh, I'm going to get arrested. 
you know, and people are going to be like, ah, oh, she's so brave or he's so brave. They don't understand. Being a real martyr today, and I'm going to have to give it up to some of the people who really go out there and do the work, okay? There's people who do detective work. There's YouTubers. There's uh, pundits. There's media commentary channel. People who really go out there and try to, ex not expose necessarily, but try to show you guys the truth of what's going on behind the scenes with a lot of things. They really get out there on the streets. They really try to believe in what they are preaching or what they're talking about and they get docs they get threats they got people showing up to the house they have to have security all single day they can't let you know where they live they can't just walk outside they can't go to the store they have to have security everywhere they go they have to have somebody constantly watching them because they believe so strongly in what they say people really want them gone excuse me and I think that's this crazy that she thinks right here she's being a martyr because she was so disgusting in the beginning. And she's talking about, oh, 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 am I going against him because I won't let go of his mic? How petty can you be? How important can you think you really are to treat somebody who's simply just trying to speak his gospel, speak about Christ or, and speak about God, even wants to pray for you? Let the man be because the Lord knows that that had been the other way around. And she was talking about being pro-choice or something. And then. The guy was like, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. And he got up there and ripped up her mic. Oh, we be up in arms. I have said this before and I'll say it again. Listen, I don't care. OK, most of the time what people are talking about on a stage in the public. If you want to talk about something I disagree with, that's fine. I'm not going to walk up there and start ripping up your mic. Now, if I want to debate, yeah, I may have a debate. I may have a conversation. I may hear you out, but I'm not going to go up there and try to tear you down just because simply I disbelieve which even if I be don't believe in what you're saying and even if I believe what you're saying is crazy like I, I really think that you're really harming people I would not go up there and start ripping up your equipment or say that I'm better than you that's just wild to me because I don't see myself better than you we just have a disagreement I may feel like I'm really helping people and I may feel like you're really hurting people but I'm not going to go rip up your set I want people to if, listen people who do that kind of stuff really have no leg to stand on because if I truly believe what I'm saying is true, I'll say it and I'll let the people who want to believe, believe and let them see what's true is true. I ain't got to say a whole lot. They'll hear what I'm saying. They're going to hear what I'm saying. When I spit these facts, these stats and everything going on, you're going to have to make a decision whether it's against me or for me. I don't care, but you're going to listen. Right. And I just want you to hear it. But at the same time, you got to, you make a choice. I make a choice. We go our separate ways. Just don't go hurt nobody and nothing has to go this far. Let's start making a uh, change, people. All right. We don't have to fight every time we think somebody disagrees with us. That's children. That's what children do. We got to start talking like adults and maybe we can actually get somewhere. I'm gone.